destiny welcome back to my youtube channel and on this channel we talk about topics such as business side hustles and entrepreneurship so if those topics interest you make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be telling y'all my trademark story so if you've been following my channel i did a video probably two years ago talking about my journey with getting a trademark and why it was important to get a trademark so if you haven't go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this one so yeah i applied for my trademark back in 2020 september of 2020 my trademark was finally approved december 13th of 2022 so yes, it took a little bit over two years for me to get my trademark. And today in this video, we're gonna be going over why that is. So here's a copy of my trademark. I did put it in the frame, make it look cute. Here it is, finally. So I'm officially Destiny Adams, the traveling hair boss. So if you play with my business name, I might have to sue you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, <laughs> but for real. <laughs> So yeah, so when I applied back in September of 2020, things that I did not know. So I did not know how to do a proper trademark search. I knew I wanted the name for my business. I knew the name was available based on the simple search that I did. And the simple search that I did was just typing in my name, typing in, so I typed in Destiny Adams and I typed in the Traveling Hair Boss. Both showed no results at the time. So I'm like, okay, I should be cool to get, <laughs> so I should be cool to get a trademark wrong so when I contacted my attorney because first I was just going to trademark the traveling hair boss and she said since it has the word boss in it most likely it's not going to get approved it's not going to get approved because it's too common I said okay add my name to it Destiny Adams the traveling hair boss okay she said fine it's a great chance of us getting approved for this trademark what I didn't know because when she explained to me that it's going to take roughly 10 months and for me, it took a little bit over two years. Now, during that time, what I didn't know was that the reason the word boss was hard to trademark is because Hugo Boss owns the boss word in multiple categories. So the way trademarks work is that they're broken down into different categories. So you might own, own the boss word maybe in the hair lane or in the consulting lane or in the fashion lane. But then there's plenty, like every single category that you want to trademark something in, like mine's this trademark in the beauty business consulting so if i wanted to put this on t-shirts then i will also have it trademarked for apparel so when it comes to filing your trademark you need to make sure that you get it into all the categories that your business qualifies for i didn't know that hugo boss owned it in all pretty much all categories so they have it in travel apparel cosmetics beauty like as far as like shampoos toiletries they have it in a lot of different categories so yes, of course, it's going to be an issue when I try to get my trademark. Another reason that my trademark took so long, it's a lady who had her business trademark titled The Hair Boss. The Hair Boss also owns The Hair Boss trademark in several different categories. So she has it in hair. She has it in doing like beauty classes and education. So she tried to fight my trademark from going through. So my attorney had to put together, I'm not even sure what the correct terminology is so she basically had to fight it and it was ruled in our favor that it would not confuse customers between the hair boss and destiny adams the traveling hair boss so that's basically what it came down to so we did go through a long process where i had to keep sending over different information basically proving that i was already using it in e-commerce using it for my beauty business consulting business so yes it was a long process well worth it and i would say so i I highly recommend hiring an attorney for this process because if it was just me alone and I had to fight different cases to prove why my trademark did not infringe on theirs like I probably would have lost nine times out of ten I would have gave up and I'm gonna even be straightforward and say like during that two and a half year process I even thought about changing my name like because you know you go through different things like okay well it's not gonna get approved they said ten months now it's two and a half years like is it gonna go through should I start looking at different names I went through the whole process 
process. I was stressed out. But one thing I'm going to say about what I learned about doing trademarks, like as I was going through the process, like I started doing research about like, where did I go wrong when it came to searching for different trademarks? Like when I searched my name, why didn't any results come up? Like what did I do wrong here? What I'm actually going to do is pull up the trademark website so we can go through step by step of how to search to see if your name is actually available. Because I don't want you waiting a two and a half year process trying to fight to prove that your name is different from somebody else's. So I'm going to show you how to make sure you're doing a thorough search to pull up all the different results that are similar to your business name so you won't have the same issue. Even though I am going to show you this process, I do highly recommend that you consult an attorney. So let's head over to the website. So the first thing I do is start with pulling up google.com and I'll type in trademark search. We'll just select the sec second option. So what you're looking for is, which I already selected is, was the search trademark database USPTO. Now when you come to this page, you're going to select the, t you're going to select test, which is the trademark electronic search system. Okay, now as a beginner, when you're on this website, you're going to select the basic word mark search. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did when I first came on here. So I knew that I wanted to select single, singular and plural, and I wanted to do live and dead. And that's just a check mark. And then this is the combined word search, serial, registration number, owner, name, and address. I just select all. Result must contain all search terms and any search terms, the exact phrase. So I'll do all search terms. So I typed in the traveling, there we go, the traveling hair boss. And I select submit inquiry. So as you can see, of course, I show up and then there's a general one boss that shows up. Let's click boss. So this one is Hugo Boss. So it has all of the things they show up under. And it, as you can see, it does highlight hair, cosmetics, brushes, household items, clothing for men, women, women and children, e-bikes, motorized golf carts, leather. Like they have it under a lot of different things. They also have business organization consulting that I noticed down here. So I not totally skipped past that. So I looked, I did see that it had boss, but I didn't think that it would interfere with the traveling hair boss because I didn't know much about trademarks. So that's why I say hire an attorney. So now I'm going to show you what I should have did. Now let's go back. So when it comes to searching your trademarks, what you want to do is search your name and then you want to search things that are similar to it. So the traveling hair boss, even though traveling is in it, like I can, I should have took out the traveling and just did hair boss because overall I am a hair boss. So we're going to see hair boss. Now let's search that. Now you see all of the different bosses, hair bosses, lady bosses, boss hair extensions that come up. This is what I should have searched to see if there was going to be any conflicts of interest. And as you can see, all the results, it's 202 records of live and dead trademarks. And the one that really interfered with mine, well, I interfered with hers, would have been Hair Boss. But y'all don't even see that one on here yet. As you can see, it's Wig Boss, because you also want to do, even though it's hair, you want to do Wig Boss, Bundle Boss, you see Braid Boss, Boss Babe, Hair Boutique, anything that sounds similar to yours, you need to look it up. Because these are the people who are going to be potentially fighting your trademark to not go through because it sounds very similar to theirs. Then they also have boss hair. Like even though I searched hair bosses, boss hair, any boss. Now let's go back. Oh, and then before we go back, one of the things that you want to click when you do the trademarks, as you can see, well, wig boss, let's see. Okay, braid boss. We can do that similar. So theirs is for raising and conducting of classes in the field of hair braiding, educational services, providing classes, courses, and training in the field of hair braiding. So any anytime you try and, oh, they also have mentoring as well. So anytime you, you're doing your trademark, you need to make sure you're looking into the 
different sections that this word is trademarked in because you don't want to interfere and then you're going to risk losing your trade well not losing your trademark but actually getting your trademark denied because it's too similar to someone else's so let's go back again then the last thing you want to put in is boss well the last thing that i should have put in is boss so now you'll see anything under the boss category. So one of the most popular ones is Hugo Boss. Like I said, they pretty much own the boss word in a whole bunch of different categories. So you want to make sure that your trademark that you're trying to get is not infringing on any of their trademarks. So you need to make sure that your name is very distinct from theirs and that it's different. So that will get you your basic trademark search. And as I said, I highly recommend hiring an attorney because this will only get you so far and they'll be able to instruct you further on whether or not you should apply for the trademark or not. Another way, if you can't afford a trademark attorney, you can possibly go through Inkfile, which they have different options to where they can file the trademark for you. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you have any trademark attorneys that you recommend, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I also have a weekly motivational text group that you can text BOSS, B-O-S-S, to 616-345-1530. Again, that's text and boss to 616-345-1530. I have a Facebook group where you can connect with the other people on my channel or if you want to advertise your services, go ahead and add the Side Business Hustle on Facebook. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media channels. It's I Am Destiny Adams on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, pretty much everything. I am Destiny Adams. Go ahead and connect with me because I do post a lot in my Instagram stories. Like if you're looking for something that's every single day. So yes, my Instagram story. So that's I am Destiny Adams. And yeah, go ahead and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.